Okay, so I'm back at it again. Curious if I can get some help from some people. Um, or some information. I guess I'll be calling Jigs or Summit or if I can contact PRW directly to find out some stuff. One is, I've got some clearance issues with my oil pump. I've got ARP main studs. One thing I'd like to know is why this is the only hole that has a recessed hole. It is the only one machined down. As you can see there, etc. But none of the other ones are. This is all ARP hardware right now. This uh, PWR, uh, PRW girdle came with these, this bit of hardware. It's got these spacers that go under the girdle and it came with this set of studs, which these are actually longer than the ARP, so this actually would cause more of a clearance issue. So, I was thinking this engine had ARP studs in it when I built it, but apparently not. Apparently I stayed with the bolts. That was the main bolts originally. So the problem I'm having is, and you can see where I've machined already, or ground on it, and where I remarked it, where it's still hitting. But with that stud in, this oil pump hits on that stud. So the light's gonna be kind of shitty, but obviously this stud's not in it right now. I pulled it out, I'm gonna try to chase these threads some and clear them out and make sure there's no way the stud can go down any further and I might end up cutting the stud down a little bit to hopefully help with clearancing. But anyways, it's hitting there. Now, the stud itself hits without a nut on, so that's one problem. So the stud's definitely gotta get cut down or go shorter or I've gotta clearance some more off the pump. But the nut adds thickness so it hits where those two lines are that you probably can't see. Nope, anyways. Those two lines, they hit there. So, definitely gotta do some more work. Now, while oil pumps aren't that expensive, this is a Melling High Volume. I did check the part number on it, wherever the hell it's at. Not that 162, there it is. M68HV Melling High Volume Pump. It was the highest reviewed pump on Summit. And while high volumes really don't put out all that much more from what I've read, it does add a little bit more. And it wasn't but like 10 bucks more than the regular one, so why not? But anyways, I'd rather not destroy this by grinding into it too far. Because I've already dug into it a good bit, and I worry about hitting into some part of the pump internals. I don't know how much material I can actually grind in. I found some pictures online where people have recessed these a good bit, but like I said, I don't want to risk tearing it up. So I did get two pistons installed as well. Now this was what I had qu questions about previously I was curious of. To me, that doesn't look like valve contact, just the way the markings are. If anything, they should be all in the same spot these move inward. I don't think the valve's gonna do that. But also, I don't think it's gonna do this little bitty hash. This looks like, almost like a bolt thread. Now I'm pretty damn sure there wasn't a fucking bolt in my engine when it ran. I built the thing and I was very careful when putting it together that I didn't drop anything in it. But, regardless, it looks like something impacted. I don't remember if I dropped something on it to ding it or if maybe it came back from an engine builder like that. Couldn't tell you. But it raised some, a little bit of concern where I was curious of where, if I would have possibly damaged it somewhere. Now I checked all the valves and they looked good. I looked at all the other pistons and none of the other ones had any marks. Just this one, cylinder number one. The same thing I noticed with the, uh, the bearings. Well, not the same thing, but similar issues I noticed with bearings. So, see copper on cylinder number two. Copper on number six. Those are on the same stroke board on the crank. None of the other ones were really down to copper. They were worn some, but not bad. 
The all, same thing I noticed with the uh, the main bearings. The two mains that were like right here were also worn more than any. So uh, I'm not sure if my cranks kind of distorted or something there, but that might be part of the problem. Couldn't tell you. Guess we'll see whenever this motor actually gives if those are the same, same wear points, but I'm not taking this thing back to the machine shop. More money invested in this block. It's already got wear on the cylinder. It's getting sent how it is. I'm gonna build it back as best I can without taking it to the machine shop. And we're gonna roll with it till I find another block. But that's my main problem right now. Gotta figure this out. Wondering if, uh, I'd also checked, I got my caliper out. I was checking the depth of this recess with the washers that came with this. They don't match. So it's definitely not intended for one of those washers to sit in here to make it flush. So I have no clue. I have, honestly, I have no clue why there would be a recess here. But that's where it's at. The uh, I'm waiting on some solid lifters to come in just so I can check the timing on it for the hell of it. I don't have an adjustable timing gear. So if it's really far off, then I guess I'll order a timing set. If not, rolling with it. I mean, it ran before as it was, so pretty sure it's fine. Um, so yeah, timing, other pistons to put in, this pump to figure out, and still got to wash these heads down a little bit more, clean out all this gunk from the water jacket, and I need to chase all the threads, so I'll go get my tap and do that. Alright guys, like I said, if anybody knows anything about these girdles, let me know. I've read all kinds of back and forth about main girdles, as far as... They're useless, just added weight to the engine and added complication for clearance that it really doesn't do anything more than keep all the pieces together when the motor gives out and blows. Then of course, there's the other end of it that said that two bolt mains really need this to help strengthen them from twisting because obviously four bolt better than two bolt. And the other thing of obviously would be going up a size in the bolts from 7 16 to half. They said that'll increase the strength of it, just added clamp force, etc. Well, I didn't do that, it's rolling with what we got. But, so I don't know, um, I vouched to go with the girdle, just for ease of mind. I mean, it was a hundred bucks for it, so why not? All right, guys, like I said, if you have any info for me, any help along the way, shoot a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.